in space, would you join me in welcoming Dr. Alex Burrell to the stage? So what I love about clean space is that it's such an obvious um, fit in the market because we have these, you know, disposable paper things that are not next to useless, but not too many postcodes away from it. And, uh, and then we have this super heavy duty and heavy is the emphasis there, three kilograms. And clean space is right smack in the middle. So tell us, this is your second round uh, as well. Tell us what you're, where you're at with the technology and where you're going to take it to with this round, Alex. Yeah, sure. So the clean space technology is actually a platform technology. So our original project was really back uh, 2008, 2009 when they founded the company. We're actually one of those classic cases. We are a, a, a sort of spin out from ResMed. So it was founded by a group of biomedical engineers from ResMed. And they saw a different way of doing respiratory protection, which actually hadn't changed for 30 years. Extraordinary, right? So, um, so in that context, they came up with a platform technology, which was um, to develop a powered respirator, which is a big heavy thing, miniaturize it and create something that was incredibly simple, light and easy to use for the, for the user. In our case, our users originally were in industrial, so mining, welding. Uh, you may have heard a lot on the news at the moment, silicosis. That was our space, is, is still very much our space. And we learned a lot. So for example, um, we actually transfer out not this heavy, bulky powder respirator, which you can imagine nobody uses, but in fact, we're actually upgrading um, most of the workforce who are used respirators out of those paper respirators into something quite sophisticated, so incredibly level, um, high levels of protection, but equally way more comfortable than a paper mask. So you're getting very high compliance. And that's the key, it's getting people to use the device and therefore being protected, so simplicity and also um, the, the, the comfort. And the potential for, you know, for pandemics and for, for workers with, um, you know... I didn't answer your question. It's <laughs> <laughs> all right, can't be, come on back. <laughs> so, long story short, um, three years ago we saw an opportunity to go into the healthcare market. So along came Ebola, and, and I think at the time um, we'd already gone through SARS, if you remember that as well, and um, MERS. And so healthcare workers were actually at the front line of these hideous diseases and very little um, personal protective equipment, as we call it, and in particular respirators. So going back to that paper mask, that was pretty much what they were using to go in for Ebola. And um, surprisingly, in SARS, 30, 20, you know, 20 to 30% of healthcare workers were the cases for SARS. So these people were putting not just their health on their line, but actually their lives on the line. And, and in, in cases of uh, paper masks, they were incredibly uncomfortable. So they would wear all of this protection and get very hot within half an hour and have to leave the patient in a contaminated area. So incredibly unproductive and, and really uncomfortable and quite distracting for patient care. And I've had a, I felt the halo system that you've got going on and we saw you, it looks like it's about to be a virtual reality game <laughs> set from what we saw in the video, but that bit actually goes on the back of your head. Very lightweight, very comfortable and positive pressure. So no risk there. So back in 2015, we applied for the New South Wales Medical Devices Fund. We got the funding, it was fantastic. That actually allowed us to develop our first healthcare product, which we took the technology that we had, we made it much, much lighter. We made it more medical looking, but also very smooth and sophisticated, which it has to be within that medical setting. We actually launched that um, back in Europe uh, a year ago, but then in the US uh, this year, we now have over uh, 30 hospitals actually deploying clean space, the respirator, and including Johns Hopkins. So this is what this fund is, this is this program has done, and it's been enormously successful. I mean, for the company, it's been fantastic, but equally, we always think about the people that have to wear these devices, have to go into these situations with airborne hazards. It's been a game changer, no question. And uh, I have just thought of, because now I'm thinking about markets and such, uh, preppers, that's who you need to get on to <laughs> next, they guarantee they will like, lap that stuff up. Uh, unfortunately, you can't commercialise, so it's a terrible market to go into. Oh, all right, okay, well, you know, I was never going to get rich from ideas anyway. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh. And, uh, Now I want to invite 